Stan Jabalisco here to describe the full wave center tap rectifier circuit. I've shown you a half wave circuit, the waveforms that come out of a half wave and a full wave rectifier circuit. Now I'd like to show you an actual full wave rectifier circuit. You can find information about this and related topics in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. A link to the Amazon page will appear in the description of this video. But here is the circuit, a full wave center tap rectifier circuit. In the United States we put in 60 Hertz alternating current to a circuit like this in most of the rest of the world or much of the rest of the world 50 Hertz but the frequency isn't so important as what this thing actually does. Now it has two semiconductor diodes and the transformer secondary is center tapped. That means it's tapped right in the center so there's an equal number of turns on one side and the other. It's symmetrical. So what happens when AC comes into this transformer, it flows back and forth and back and forth in this coil, inducing a current that flows back and forth and back and forth in this uh, coil. It reverses polarity once every 1 120th of a second in the United States or once every 1 100th of a second in much of the rest of the world. But these diodes, what they do, remember a diode will allow electrons to pass only against the arrow. If electrons try to flow with the arrow, then it won't let it go. Same with both of these diodes. Now imagine a current here going back and forth, and I'm talking now about the flow of electrons. When electrons are flowing this way, up through the coil, they can't get through this diode. So, this won't have any, this uh, particular uh, output of this diode will be zero. However, when electrons are trying to flow with the arrow in this diode, they're flowing against the arrow in this one, so they will be able to get through. That means electrons will be able to escape from the positive terminal when the current is flowing up like that. Now when the current reverses and flows down like this, we just flip the whole business upside down. The electrons cannot get through this diode, so we see nothing here at the output of this diode. But electrons flowing down like this can still escape from the positive terminal like this. And actually what they do is they end up going into the center tap, not trying to flow through this diode. They find a blocked gate here. They can't, they can't get through. So they go out of the center tap instead and you get a negative uh, polarity here. And that happens on both halves of the cycle. So you get a full wave rectified output. The uh, center tap is important in this transformer. Normally in a negative ground circuit you would simply ground the center tap to the chassis of the radio or whatever it is that you are operating the power supply from. But you don't have to. Uh, but normally in a negative ground circuit that is what you would do. You can also make a positive ground circuit and then just reverse both of these diodes. Then you'll get a negative here and a positive here but and you will get negative pulsating DC. But it'll still be uh, for the full cycle. There will be a pulse for both halves of the cycle. That is how full wave rectification is supposed to work. It only needs two diodes and they're pretty cheap, but a center tapped transformer like this, not so cheap usually. Stan Gibalisco, signing off for now. Get this book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Again, a link to its Amazon page will appear in the description of this video. So long.